Good afternoon, everyone. Fertility is a station in 1890 to 1920. Between 1890 and 1920, marital fertility began to decline in most European provinces. Well, and trade win in 1986. Mortality and fertility interact in complicated ways. Increased survival risks the return on past birth investments and in children. Some of the improvement in the child survival is itself a response to parental decision to invest more in the health and welfare of a smaller number of children. This economic change influences the cost and benefits of childbearing. Relative to good consumption, childbearing is expensive. So, so now fertility transition during 1890 to 1920, we have hoped that many children can survive because uh, we have um, improvement survival because we have now um, medicines that can inject to those children. And this is the time also we started that we have contraceptive effort in order to limit the child, the number of children that a couple de de decrease. It means na uh, starting 1890 to 1920, there na nagsugod ang dunay mga medicines or vaccines na pwede na to apply sa mga bata so that maligay sila sa mga balatian. Unlike uh, sa una nga uh, walay mga medicines or vaccines nga atong ika-apply sa mga bata, ang naa is ang herbal-herbal lang and dili na time nga dili makakaya ang herbal nga mupaayos sa mga sakit sa atong mga mga bata. So that many people Dai or nang nagagwanta sa sakit kay wala yung mga mga medicines and unlike karon nga daghana o ganang mga medicines like if na ay o gilantan ka na nay medicines nga ikahatag gan nimo para mapaayo ka this graph show us uh the past and projected total fertility rate by major development crops in 1950, 2050, and 1950, 1960. So this graph shows us that our population is decreased. Population growth. The combination of fertility and mortality determines population growth. So it means na ang uh, na the combination kuno sa fertility and mortality uh, na na nagdetermine sa atong population growth. Population growth rates in the more developed countries, including less developed countries, rose about a half percent above above those in the less developed countries before 1920. But after World War II, population growth surged in the less developed countries in the mid uh, 1960s, then dropped instantaneously. So, um, our second graph um, show us the population growth rates in 1750 to 2150. This graph uh, show us that the world population experienced a surge population growth starting at 100. But after World War II, it dropped due to many dying in the war. The global population share of the more developed countries ends to subside from its current um, 20% to any 14% in 2050 UN. Projections suggest that global population growth will be close to zero, zero by about 2100. Kids and age distribution 
the last stage of demographic translation. It is gradual shifts in the age distribution of a population present both challenges and opportunities for sustainable development. The world's population has undergone profound changes as mortality and fertility levels and fertility levels have decreased around the world. This pair of changes, known together as the demographic transition, leads initially to rapid growth and a younger population. Driving by an early reduction in child mortality. Moreover, a subsequently decline in fertility features population aging, which is further accentuated by reductions in adult mortality and the resulting increase in the number of persons who survive to older ages. The speed and timing of the demographic transition have varied greatly across the countries and regions. So we have a conclusion that explain the theory of demographic transition as it affects global population. The theory of demographic transition explains that Changing pattern of mortality, fertility, and growth rate as societies move from one demographic stage to another. This pattern can then be used to predict future patterns that will enable humanity to prepare for the future, especially in alter allocating resources. So, my realization about this topic, global demography, it is the statistical study of human population and what population can do in our society or what is the usage of population. It is also studying of births, dates, etc., which results in illustrating the structure of human population. As I see studying of births in our society, Population is the biggest widespread that was because in every minute or seconds, our population will increase due to many women giving birth. And at, um, the more increase for the population because, um, as I said a while ago, na na mga medicines or vaccines nga pwede na itong ikahatag sa uh, mga bata para malikay sila sa mga sakit. So, karong nanggod nga panahon is taghanatag na nga imbento nga mga tabal. Um, Naana tayo ka nang makuhaan o ka nang daang tabal in case o magkasakit ta. So that, um, so that um, as I say that population will increase. At the same time, population is the one most important factors which helps to balance the environment. And we need also to study global demography for the changes of our community.